Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about problem 43 in chapter 2. This problem is a little bit complicated. Let's work on it together. It tells us we have a train. The train is 75 meters long, so, and then, it begins uniformly accelerates. So this one tells us the acceleration is constant. From rest means stationary, right? So initial velocity is zero. Then the front of the tree has a speed. This one tells us there is a one velocity, 23 meter per second. When it passes a railway worker, the railway worker is there, who is standing 180 meter from where the front of the tree started. What ask you what will be the speed of the last car as it passes the worker? So now to understand what happens, let's draw a picture. See what happens. There we can say this point is the worker, okay? And this one is a train. In this case, we need to consider the length of the train. So the, this is the initial state. The velocity for the train is zero, right? It is stationary. And then, sometimes later, we can see this train moves 180 meters because how much it moved from the head to the head, agree, okay, from head to the head, then the velocity reaches to 23 meters per second, then this train just passes the workers, so because, so because then the train comes to zero. Now, the train keep going, and then ask you, what's the velocity? What's the velocity of the last car as it passes so the workers? So the last car as it passes the workers, that means the tail of the train is just uh, matches with the workers. Do you agree? Yes. So in this case, we understand what happens. This, and this is initial state, uh, stationary. And then this, we call this is our first state. Okay, the car comes to zero, the head matches with the workers. And then this is state to the tail of the train matches with the workers. And in this one, we can see the acceleration is a constant. So we can say first we look at the first state from the initial V0 to the V1. And there we can see how much it moves, x1. Do you agree? So we consider it is from the head to head, the displacement is x1. The velocity initial is V0, final is V1. So in this case, we can very easily to get acceleration. This one, right? The second uh, part, when we consider that we want to find V2, so we find V2, we need to consider the part two. We consider from the initial to the V2, we can see at the sta uh, initial, it's stationary, V0 is zero. At, at the final, it's V2, we don't know and uh, how much it moved from from there to there? Then we look at the head. Now this the initial the head is there, final the head is there. So the head the displacement is x one plus l. Agree? Yes, x one plus l. This is the displacement. So v two minus v naught is this one. And then we can put this two a. At this case. Uh, there is a small trick to solve the problems, to make it more simple to solve the problems. So in this case, we can just uh, do the calculation in these uh, letters, and finally we input the data. So this one we can get 2a is uh, in these terms, and then we put this term inside. When we put this term inside, it looks like that, and v0 is 0, v0 is 0. So v2 very easily just uh, squared x1 plus l divided by x1 times the v0. Then we put input the number inside, everything is done. That's all, thank you.